Right, so we're on the last bit of painting on this now, so we'll just get this sorted out. So we need the, the Wellington boots painted in, lamp black. So lamp black. Paint underneath the fold of the Wellington boot, up the side a little bit. And then just fill the boot in dark down, down the, the left hand side, underneath the, the toe and the heel, like that. Do the same on the other one. The other one you're actually only seeing uh, it on a, a slight curve like that because of the angle. So you're seeing the Wellington sort of curved like that. You're seeing underneath the heel where the pedal is going to come and then you're seeing the bottom of the Wellington boot round like that. Come back, water this in so it's lighter round the side and across the top. Water that in. You can use, you can use the same lamp black or paint scrape but just wet and put in the, the wheel. So this is the wheel coming down back of the wheel into the onto the floor and then a little bit of suggestion of shadow. A little bit of burnt sienna and connect these the seat, go underneath the seat and connect the seat together. Fetch out pedals from that side, so fetch out pedals, little flicks down. The pedals are coming up underneath the, the Wellington boot. And then the, the sort of the, the pedal itself, which is generally, at least it used to be when I was a, a little one, it's like three metal pieces clicked on there. And also just in the behind that, you can see this, the front wheel just coming down across there. Tie a little bit of, little bit of reflection to that. You've got the pedal in. Uh, a little bit of more colouring into my dad's shoe. So under the heel, round the heel and then a few suggestions of tread round there and me, me pipe don't forget my dad's pipe he never forgot it the pipe ball a little curve of the arm and just going into his face at the other side and then just a little wisp of smoke coming out he got some steam while he was pushing me around like that Dry that off a little bit. A little bit of red and crimson and just shape round the, the back of the ear and the back of the neck, the back of my ear. Under the leg to create a little bit of shadow coming out from the trouser. Under the leg, under the leg there's a curve and just into fingers like that. My dad's hand is just resting on the seat just pushing it. Right. Right, we can close in on the bicycles now. Like I said, you can use a rubber and rub the pencil lines out afterwards if you wish. So, pen, very sharp movement. So, a flick for underneath the folds of the cap, underneath the, the brim, darken it down around the outside edge, the back of the cap. Darken the pipe down if necessary. Uh, a line round the back of the ear, some lines in for the hair, and then just a line for the, the cheek of the face like that. So a few crisscross lines. If it was a if it was a crisscrossed hat cap, you would put them in through there like that. So work your way down. Darken down round the back of the collar. Round the back of the collar, draw a collar in going round the back. Some lines down for the arm, a few flicks here and there. So just curve it, don't don't feel the need to actually fill the lines in totally all the way. Just a few sort of curves here. A bit stronger where, wherever it's going harder down the elbow. A bit stronger where, the, where it's curved and going behind the jacket like that. And a bit stronger in the shadows where the arm is going forward behind the jacket. So a few more creases in there. A few creases underneath the arm there pushing the, the, the seat. And then... A few flicks up here like this to create the folds of the of the jacket down there a few flicks underneath down to where my dad's hand was holding the seat darken it down under the jacket there's a pocket he has a pocket there so it's just a bit of a pocket just sort of showing there 
and there would be another pocket just vanishing out of sight over there. Underneath, underneath the jacket and stronger into the little crease behind the jacket. It occurs so you suggest the jacket going just on the outside edge. And then have just a few flicks for the legs. So a few lines for the legs like that. Don't don't draw everything in. And don't go right the outside. The outside edge is for the paint to make it look looser. A few creases in where his legs bent. Down here. A few folds for the bottom of the trousers. Like that. The back of his shoe. The heel. Now into this leg a few little flicks here. A definite line going down and coming back so it shows the bend in his leg and that shows the bend in his leg as well there going like that and then round the shoe a few little dots in for treads and then exaggerate the, the tread going across and then round the bottom of the shoe like that so you've got you've got him in there tie him to the ground with a few flicks here and there odd crease more if you need it you can tell when you when you when you've got creases in it you want now for me just a few flicks in for the hair like that round the cheek like that and round the ear into the collar into the collar tell you what I've missed I've missed the braces out well I'll just draw these the braces in like that and then I'll put some colour into them and then round the arms underneath the arm down to the elbow hand out now draw the bicycle hand the bicycle handlebar so a dark bit out a curve inside because my hands going round and coming underneath like that and then the bike the bike handlebars disappearing off to the front of the bike just there and maybe a bell on into there round the trousers just a few flicks, darken it, down, darken it down underneath the seat where I'm sat on where the hand is. A few flicks into there. A little bit of flick into the trousers and the, and the sort of the fold at the bottom. And then just a couple of lines for the legs. Don't, don't draw it all solid. Round the wellies. Make them darker a little bit in a couple of spots. Round the tread. Uh, into the bike, so you're drawing just on the outside of the the mud guard there, round the reflector. Join the pedals up. So the pedals are generally three or four little bits of metal kicking like that, and then the wheel, the front wheel, darken it down so you can see it a bit. Pull it down. Round my leg again, so that the other side of the trousers. The leg goes like that, curving back on itself, because it's folded on itself, round there. And then there's the top pedal coming round under there. Darken under the wheel. You can put a little bit of tread in if you want. So just a little bit of tread. Don't go all the way, just leave a bit in the middle that's got nothing gone, and just suggest the tread down there. And a little bit of shading coming down there so that my dad's handy. Um, I'm just going to brush and put the pedals in. Sorry, put the, uh, the braces in. And that's that one. So you can see with all the sort of movement outside, you get that feeling of action. Something's happening. You can rub these lines out if you, if you want them out. A lot of them have vanished in the wash, but if you've got like I made the head too big there, that's why I toned it down. But you can wash things out, so that, that can be just a bit of shadow because the wheel is on the ground there. And you can you can get little bits of uh, little bits of stronger shadow just where where my dad is there. Right, so that's that's it. Simple but effective. It, it tells a story, which is what it's all about.